Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. This is a very different video. This is a commitment video. What is this video about? So here I'm going to publicly commit that I'm going to do a fast.ai course. Why am I doing this? In the past, every time fast.ai course was released public, I never paid for the course. Every time that it was released on the internet for free, I tried to attend it. I tried to commit for a week or two and then I miserably failed. And it's it's not just uh, fast.ai course. I've, take, I've tried to take Coursera course. I never finished. I paid for David Blaine's magic course. Like I, in Indian rupees, I paid close to 20,000 rupees, but I never finished it. I tried to take driving classes. I never finished it. So my f finishing rate, closure rate is quite bad. So what I thought is, you know what? I make YouTube videos these days. Why don't I comment publicly on YouTube video? about how am I planning to even finish this course and uh, every time I attend the course I'm going to live record it because um, as you can see I don't know you can see um, I get distracted by a lot of things sometimes I play chess sometimes I watch cricket score and of course um, every developers um, obsession hacker news and uh, I, I, do, I, I do a lot of things so now what I want to do here is um, first this this video is basically I'm going to tell you how I'm planning to take this course so that at the end of the course, I'm actually a good deep learning practitioner. And I would love to proudly say that I'm a student of Jeremy um, Howard. Uh, so that's something that I always wanted to say. Jeremy is somebody I respect a lot, hugely. Um, he is a great inspiration. But I want to proudly say that I'm a student of Jeremy. So that's, that's, that's my primary objective of taking this course. So how am I going to take this course? I asked for advice from somebody who recently finished this course. I would say in flying colors, who is Korean Minoy. So Korean gave me a couple of advice. Um, he also said that he's planning to write a comprehensive blog post. But before that, the advice he shared is the first step is you need to commit to complete the course. And that's exactly what I'm doing here because I'm trying to commit to complete the course, which I've not done in the past. I've told my friends that I'm going to do this deep learning course. I've told my family. Um, it's a running joke in my family that did you finish the deep learning course, which I have not done it for many years. Uh, so first I'm committing public to complete the course. And the second thing is this, this is something that I, that I saw also Korean mentioned, which is the components, the stages in which you want to complete this course. I think, I think this has been quoted or sub quoted, but again, I got to know this through Korean, which is first watch the lecture or read the book. I've got the book. I can, I can show the book in the, the next video. I've got the book, um, with myself. Uh, so watching the lecturer book without touching the keyboard, like without coding, that's the first thing. So that is exactly what I'm going to record. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to watch like after every video I've, I've hated study with me videos, all these YouTubers put out. Um, but you know, um, you live long enough to become yourself will. And so I'm going to do study with me video where I'm going to watch Jeremy's tutorials or the, or the video tutorials. And whenever something interesting comes up. I'm going to take a pause and then I'm going to take a note or I'm going to, you know, mention the timestamp. So this is what I'm going to record for all the chapters. Um, then I'm going to offline, like without recording off camera, I'm going to do running notebook experimentation, reproducing results, trying it on a different data set. So this is going to be on camera. So I'm going to record it every single lecture that I watch uh, because I want to do it diligently. But I'm going to also produce notebooks. I'm going to also uh, reproduce what Jeremy is teaching. And also I want to make sure that I'm trying it on a different data set though, so that, you know, I can, I can claim myself. I'm not a, just a copy paste engineer, but I'm a, I'm a deep learning practitioner actually who can try out with a different data set. This is, this is the, this is the methodology that I'm planning to follow. And if you see the course itself, um, it's a, it's a very, well-respected course. I cannot tell you how many people I've recommended this course, uh, but it is a shame that I never finished the course. So if you see the way this course is structured, you can see the details, all the details here about how the course is structured and all these things. But primarily what you will learn at the end of this course is you'll learn to achieve state of the art sort of results for computer vision, natural language processing, tabular data. Mm -hmm. Um, collaborative filtering and also you this this year I think there's a good good emphasis on turning your deep learning projects into full stack projects so we would build web application using radio and so on and um, deploy it on hugging face space is something that we have extensively covered in this channel and also you know um, learn uh, stochastic gradient descent and a complete training loop from scratch but also there are you know some techniques that uh, that would get covered in this course which I don't want to 
mention it um but what i want to do is i want to start the first course so following this i'm going to do certain things um which may not be published like you may not get notification but i'm going when i'm going to do but i'm going to have a separate playlist that says study with me um, practical deep learning for coders and uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 um, at least 10 videos would be there in the playlist if i manage to finish it um, just like i promised in this video the reason why i'm committing in this video is that if i don't commit if i don't finish it then i get to publicly shamed um, I, I myself might make a joke of me um, or, uh, or you know anybody can hold me accountable because I teach a lot but uh, my commitment to learn new things uh, are quite terrible at least in the recent past. I think as a teacher I don't find this healthy. A good teacher is always somebody who can learn, can commit to learn, who can finish learning. It's not just starting. Um, so I'm looking forward to 100% finishing this amazing deep learning course for coders um, practical deep learning for coders this time if you are if you happen to be also going to do this course give me your suggestion steps and and if you have finished this course in the past like give me your suggestions and tips i'm looking forward to all the help in the world to finish this course so let's 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 get started the practical deep learning for coders coming soon and as a, as a study with me video thank you see you peace